Hello, welcome to another 15 minutes of tangling. So yesterday we ended up by laying down this spiral for Marasu and we'll continue on with this pattern today. So I'm going to go ahead and put in these sort of curved shapes and I want to make a quite wide gap because I'm going to ink that in. Now I wonder as I'm inking in, do I want to leave, do I want to leave any sort of shine or do I want to add it in later? I think for the sake of drama, I'm going to ink in the entire shape and then add shine later using the white charcoal and white jelly roll pen. Mm, oh, it feels so nice to ink in slow down and take some beautiful strokes. Yes. So now I'm going to switch over to my brown pen and ink in some brown. Now the pattern is going to be one large black section, one line of brown, an inked in brown section, and then another line of brown. And we're going to continue that pattern all the way around the spiral. So yesterday, um, it, like I was saying, it became very stormy. We had much rain all, not only last night, but, you know, throughout the duration of the evening. And we have the threat of some showers today. And the heat is just, it's quite hot. <laughs> and so the humidity level is unbelievable. Um, I stepped out of my apartment and immediately there was a glistening slick of <laughs> moisture on my skin. And so I'm grateful that I got out early this morning because even though it's quite humid and a tad bit uncomfortable right now, um, I'm grateful that I don't have to face what it's going to be like later on in the day when it's 90 degrees or above with all of this humidity. It's also nice to just sort of get out really early and the sky is filled with clouds and they're just brushing past. There are little bits of blue sky peeking in here and there. I'm on UVA grounds again um, I had located a set of tables and chairs right by the student um, multicultural student center. And, you know, given the combination of it being summertime and with the pandemic, you know, the UVA grounds and all these areas where they're our tables and chairs. Um, there's absolutely no one here, so I figured I would take advantage. Ah, the rain has started again. I'm under a little overhang, so I shouldn't get wet unless it gets really bad. But you might be able to hear the rain. That would be nice. Yeah, it was just a short little drizzle. It's been like that. Um, none of the rain has lasted very long. But it's all been pretty intense. So these short and intense little thunderstorms coming and going. 
but that's sort of, that's how it is in the summer. I remember I was recalling last night, um, there was a time when I spent two years teaching on the Rosebud Reservation in South Dakota. And there was one day where, in South Dakota, where I was teaching, there isn't, the land was, there were hills, but um, there wasn't much to block your view. There weren't a ton of buildings, man-made structures. Um, and so I'm going to just make pretend it's going to, come out of that, it's going to look weird, but that's okay. So there was this one night that you could see in the distance, in the very far distance, there was a storm, and because in South Dakota there's nothing really blocking your view, you can see the entire sky, and you can see the storm approaching, and I just sat for an hour or two and watched as the storm approached. So I think being able to take that time to just take in nature and enjoy each season is really nice. So I have nothing against summer thunderstorms. It's kind of nice to take it in and enjoy it for what it is. Each season brings its interesting types of weather. When I was a little girl, um, we had a porch, and there was enough of an awning that when a storm was coming through, I could sit and watch the storm and maybe feel some mist from the rain, um, but not get drenched or pelted by the rain. So often, even if it was a really intense thunderstorm, I would sit out and just watch, watch the clouds, watch the rain, watch the lightning. And when I'm doing work on um, mindfulness and being in the present, I think sitting down and having those moments where you just feel, you just feel what it's like to watch Watch one of these intense storms. It's a good practice, I think, as long as you're being safe. I like these patterns that are a bit repetitive and give you some time to ink in. You can just really slow down and enjoy the process. I like this pattern in that, depending on how you how you ink it in, you know whether you're just using black ink or alternating the black and the brown, and then considering what your pattern is and how thick your bands are going to be, and how thick the spiral itself is. All of those little decisions that you might not even deliberately make. Maybe your hand is making those decisions. Maybe the pen is is guiding how the pattern turns out. But they all determine, you know, what the the character of this pattern is going to be in the end. 
Oh, we just had a flock of birds fly over. Sometimes these sections align and sometimes they don't. The shading later helps differentiate them. But right now they might just look like one, one continuous black section. So to avoid the issue we had earlier of the black coming out again, I'm just going to imagine that over here we're going to end with the brown section. It's an executive decision really. You might have noticed I wrote it in the comments yesterday, but the video yesterday had the sounds of construction. So, and you might hear it again today. Um, I'm near one of the major libraries on UVA grounds, and they are doing some major reconstruction. So grounds are now filled with the sound of construction. Can't wait to see what it's going to look like. They're doing quite a bit of work. They're literally knocking down one section that, I don't know, four, four or five floors, and they had you know, massive equipment just taking down these this internal structure of the building. It's pretty powerful to watch. So I'm wondering, <clears throat> how are you all doing? It's the summer. Are you enjoying the hot weather? Are you getting out and enjoying some nature? How are you doing with however the pandemic is affecting you right now? How are you doing with, you know, other current events that could be quite upsetting and right now there's a huge movement here at UVA and amongst the STEM fields um, in addressing social justice and taking a stance towards working toward a more just and peaceful world. There have been multiple protests here in Charlottesville. Thankfully, all very peaceful. Um, but, you know, a friend, I, I lived in Ferguson, Missouri, um, when the riots were happening there. And I just get, I kind of, I get really upset when my neighbors, you know, the people that are my local family, um, are being mistreated. And one of my friends said to me, 
you know, are you okay with it? Are you okay? And, and my response was, you know, no, I'm not okay. And that's kind of the point, you know, I feel like I'm not okay with how, how my brothers and sisters are being treated. And so in some ways, at this point, I'm willing to sit with and grapple with this time of, of not being okay. So I'm wondering, you know, if you feel that you've been affected, um, which I mean, that's pretty much all of us, but if you need to share or talk, feel free to leave a comment on how you're doing because, you know, this year has not been an easy year for any of us. And particularly for our brothers and sisters who are from diverse backgrounds. All right, so we're going to leave it there t for today. That's our 15 minutes of tangling. We'll continue inking in tomorrow and maybe even get to some shading and highlighting. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope to see you again tomorrow. And thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Bye-bye.